Well, hi kids, Pastor Al here. Nice to be able to spend a little time with you again this Sunday morning. Hey, by the way, I'm recording this a couple days early, so if you hear any like weird noises like thumping, there are people working on a church, church roof today, and they're making a little bit of noise, which is a good thing, because they're doing their job, but that's something you might hear. Well, hey, you know I have a dog that I love. He's a Labrador. His name is Hezekiah. I named him after one of the kings in the Old Testament. And he's actually coming to be a pretty good dog. He was kind of a crazy dog when he was young. And there's a lot I like about him, and he really likes his dad, and that's very cool. But there's one thing I don't like a whole lot is, well, I've had Labradors before, and every Labrador I've ever had has been uh, a dog that just loved to play fetch. I would get a tennis ball and throw it in with my last dog, uh, my last Labrador, Elijah, an Old Testament prophet name. Uh, he would play until he just about fell over dead from exhaustion. He would always bring me stuff to throw in the house just because he wanted to do more fetch. He would basically go and fetch just about anything that I could throw. Uh, with Hezekiah, well, to be honest, when he was young and started to try to fetch, we had a couple of corgis, and corgis are herding dogs, and the way they herd something is they run alongside it and bite it. And when he would go to catch something and bring it back, and they'd kind of run alongside him and kind of nip at him, and after a while, he just hated doing it. So he's a Labrador now who doesn't fetch. I still love him, but that's kind of disappointing. I will say that there are plenty of other dogs that have a hard time fetching or even catching, and I thought maybe we'd have a little fun this morning and look at a few. Now, as I said before, I still like Hezekiah. He's a great dog. I love him. Um, I'd like it better if he actually sort of did some of the stuff, like fetching, that you normally expect a Labrador to do. Um, it doesn't mean that I don't love him, but it means I think it'd be more fun for him even if he learned how to fetch. Because I tell you, when you watch a Labrador who likes to fetch, they're having a blast. Now, why am I talking about dogs and fetching? Well, you know, it always has a little bit to do with us and our relationship with God. Is that we know that it's really important to understand how much God loves us. And the other part of that is to say, we can say, well, God loves us so much, we want to love God back. And, but there are always two parts to loving God back. First is loving him just inside of our hearts. And one of the things Jesus affirms is that we're supposed to love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, and all our strength. But he also says we're to love our neighbor as ourselves, which means we're to take that love that we have inside for God that's been inspired by God's love for us and go out and do good things with it. Uh, we don't just sit around and think like, wow, uh, God's great, God's cool, it's cool, God loves me. 
but I'm just going to spend my whole life thinking about myself or worrying only about myself. We want to go out in the world and be nice people. We want to do good things to other people. We want to care for other people. It's really important if you have faith inside your heart in Jesus Christ that that faith comes outside of your heart and shows up in your life around you. Where, as Jesus said, you love your neighbor as yourself. So I just want to encourage you today the same thing I encourage your parents. It's great to say that you believe in God. It's great to say that you trust God. But the way you really find out if that's real is when you have an opportunity to serve God, to do something good or nice for other people, you go out and do it. One of the books in the Bible reminds us that faith without making it happen in our life is kind of dead. And while our faith if it comes from God as a gift, it never comes alone because it always comes with our best efforts to try to help other people throughout our whole life. So think about that. It's great to love God, but the way you show that love is by taking God's love out to the people around you and to the world. Thanks for listening to me this morning. You have a good week. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.